In linguistics, grammatical number is a grammatical category of nouns, pronouns, and adjective and verb agreement that expresses count distinctions such as one, two, or three or more. English and other languages present number categories of singular or plural, both of which are cited by using the hash sign hash or by the numero signs no and nos, respectively. Some languages also have a dual, trial, and pocal number or other arrangements. The count distinctions typically, but not always, correspond to the actual count of the reference of the marked noun or pronoun. The word number is also used in linguistics to describe the distinction between certain grammatical aspects that indicate the number of times an event occurs, such as the semilfactive aspect, the iterative aspect, etc. For that use of the term, see grammatical aspect topic overview most languages of the world have formal means to express differences of number one widespread distinction found in english and many other languages involves a simple two-way number contrast between singular and plural car cars child children etc discussion of other more elaborate systems of number appears below Grammatical number is a morphological category characterized by the expression of quantity through inflection or agreement. As an example, consider the English sentences below. That apple on the table is fresh. Those two apples on the table are fresh. The number of apples is marked on the noun. Apple. Singular number one item versus apples. Plural number more than one item. On the demonstrative. That, those. And on the verb. Is, are. In the second sentence, all this information is redundant, since quantity is already indicated by the numeral 2. A language has grammatical number when its nouns are subdivided into morphological classes according to the quantity they express, such that every noun belongs to a unique number class nouns are partitioned into disjoint classes by number. Noun modifiers such as adjectives and verbs may also have different forms for each number class and be inflected to match the number of the nouns to which they refer. Number is an agreement category. This is partly the case in English. Every noun is either singular or plural. A few forms such as fish can be either according to context and at least some modifiers of nouns, namely the demonstratives, the personal pronouns, the articles and verbs are inflected to agree with the number of the nouns to which they refer. This car and these cars are correct, while asterisk this cars or asterisk these car are ungrammatical and, therefore, incorrect. However, adjectives are not inflected, and most verb forms do not distinguish between singular and plural. Only count nouns can be freely used in the singular and in the plural. Mass nouns, like milk, silverware, and wisdom are normally used in only the singular form. In some cases, a normally massed noun X may be used as a count noun to collect several distinct kinds of X into an innumerable group. For example, a cheesemaker might speak of goat, sheep, and cow milk as milks. Many languages distinguish between count nouns and mass nouns. Not all languages have number as a grammatical category. In those that do not, quantity must be expressed either directly, with numerals, or indirectly, through optional quantifiers. However, many of these languages compensate for the lack of grammatical number with an extensive system of measure words. There is a hierarchy among number categories, no language distinguishes a trial indicating the number three unless it has a dual, and no language has a dual without a plural. Geographical <inaudible> <inaudible> distribution <inaudible> Obligatory plural marking of all nouns is found throughout Western and Northern Eurasia and in most parts of Africa. The rest of the world presents a heterogeneous picture. Optional plural marking is particularly common in Southeast and East Asia and Australian languages, and complete lack of plural marking is particularly found in New Guinea and Australian languages. In addition to the aerial correlations, there also seems to be at least one correlation with morphological typology. Isolating languages appear to favor no or non obligatory plural marking. This can be seen particularly in Africa, where optionality or absence of plural marking is found particularly in the isolating languages of West Africa. Topic. Number in specific languages. Topic. 
English English is typical of most world languages, in distinguishing only between singular and plural number. The plural form of a noun is usually created by adding the suffix e -s". The pronouns have irregular plurals, as in I versus we, because they are ancient and frequently used words going back to when English had a well-developed system of declension. English verbs distinguish singular from plural number in the third person present tense, he goes, versus they go. English treats zero with the plural number. Old English did contain dual grammatical numbers. Topic. Finnish The Finnish language has a plural form of almost every noun case except the commutative, which is formally only plural. Talo – house Talit – houses Talwasa, in the house showaver, when a number is used, or a word signifying a number many, the singular version of the partitive case is used. Kolm Taloa, three house and where no specific number is mentioned, the plural version of the partitive case is used. Talajand in the possessive genitive. Talan ovi, the house's door. Talajan ovit, the house's doors. Topic. French. In modern Romance languages, nouns, adjectives, and articles are declined according to number, singular or plural only. Verbs are conjugated for number as well as person. French treats zero as using the singular number, not the plural. In its written form, French declines nouns for number singular or plural. In speech, however, the majority of nouns and adjectives are not declined for number. The typical plural suffix, s or s, is silent, no longer indicating a change in pronunciation. Spoken number marking on the noun appears when liaison occurs. Some plurals do differ from the singular in pronunciation, for example, masculine singulars in al, al sometimes form masculine plurals in ox o". Proper nouns are not pluralized, even in writing. Less voitures, but less Peugeot 404 normally, the article or determiner is the primary indicator of number. Topic. Hebrew In modern Hebrew, a Semitic language, most nouns have only singular and plural forms, such as spur sefe, book, and sprime sfa im, books. But some have distinct dual forms using a distinct dual suffix, largely nouns pertaining to numbers or time, such as elpiam al pajim, 2000, and esbiwayim vu ajim, 2 weeks. Some use this dual suffix for their regular plurals, largely body parts that tend to come in pairs, such as yanyim a najim, eyes, as well as some that do not, such as sinium i najim, teeth, and some are inherently dual, such as mensium mixna sajim, pants, and wenyim ofa najim, bicycle. Adjectives, verbs, and pronouns agree with their subjects or antecedents numbers, but only have a two way distinction between singular and plural. Dual nouns entail plural adjectives, verbs, and pronouns. Russian Modern Russian has a singular versus plural number system, but the declension of noun phrases containing numeral expressions follows complex rules. For example, you mina est odna niga tri nigi pat nig. I have one book nom, sing, three book nom, plur, five book gen. Plur. See dual number, Slavic languages for a discussion of number phrases in Russian and other Slavic languages. The numeral, one, also has a plural form, used with pluraliatantum, odni gen si odni one pair of genes, one clock. The same form is used with countable nouns in meaning, only. Krugum odni idioti. There are only idiots around. Topic: <inaudible> Swedish. Swedish inflects nouns in singular and plural. The plural of the noun is usually obtained by adding a suffix, according to the noun's declension. The suffixes are as follows, or in the first declension, e.g. flicka, flicker, r in the second, e.g. bill, bilar, er in the third, e.g. cat, catter, n in the fourth, e.g. apple, applin, and no inflectional suffix is added for the nouns in the fifth declension, e.g. board, board. Verbs in Swedish do not distinguish singular from plural number. 
Topic: Tokelauan. Tokelau is an Austronesian island consisting of three atolls. The Tokelauan language has three types of personal pronouns first person, second person inclusive, second person exclusive, and third person exclusive. The language has unique ways to address multiple people in one conversation. For example, the generic greeting for hello is talofa or malo. To greet one person, greetings to you would be the same as the common greeting. To address two people, talofa ni, malo ni fakatalofa atu kia te kalua, kalua is the dual third person term. To address three or more people, fakatalofa atu kia te katu, katu is the plural third person term. Wuvulu awa Wuvulu is an Austronesian island located in the Manus province of Papua New Guinea. The language's numbering system is multiplicative construction, where each number is based on multiplying pre-existing numbers smaller than five. Wuvulu is most similar to most oceanic languages, and their numbering system is representative of some systems found in the Marshall Islands. For examples, the number two in Wuvulu is Roa and the number four in both Proto-Oceanic language and Wuvulu is Fa. Therefore, the number eight in Wuvulu the construction of two and four, resulting in Fainaroa, translating into 4 multiply 2. Moreover, the Wuvulu language has different numerical systems for animate objects and inanimate objects. When referencing an inanimate object, the number 7 is Olumpolo, however, if it is an animate object, the word changes to Oloromia. The structure of a noun phrase looks like NP equals art demonstrative plus number quantifier plus PREMODIFIERS plus noun plus modifier. As we can see, the number or quantifier appears in the middle of the noun phrase. Example I equals na taffy a olaroa wa 3SG equals real carved TR6 canoe. He carved six canoes. Mortlockies The Mortlockese language of the Mortlock Islands uses a base 10 counting system. Pronouns, nouns and demonstratives are used exclusively in the singular and plural forms through the use of classifiers, suffixes and prefixes. There are no other dual or trial grammatical forms in the Mortlockese language. Different forms that can be used in the language include first person singular and plural words, second person singular words like umwi, second person plural words like ami used to refer to an outside group, and third person plural words. Topic: <laughs> Types of number. Topic: <laughs> Singular versus plural. In most languages with grammatical number, nouns, and sometimes other parts of speech, have two forms, the singular, for one instance of a concept, and the plural, for more than one instance. Usually, the singular is the unmarked form of a word, and the plural is obtained by inflecting the singular. This is the case in English, car, cars, box, boxes, man, men. There may be exceptional nouns whose plural is identical to the singular, one sheep, two sheep, which is not the same as nouns that have only one number. Topic. Singulative versus collective Some languages differentiate between an unmarked form, the collective, which is indifferent in respect to number, and a marked form for single entities, called the singulative in this context. For example, in Welsh, mock pigs is a basic form, whereas a suffix is added to form mochin pig. It is the collective form which is more basic, and it is used as an adjectival modifier, e.g. Sig mock, pig meat, pork. The collective form is therefore similar in many respects to an English mass noun like rice, which in fact refers to a collection of items which are logically countable. However, English has no productive process of forming singulative nouns, just phrases such as a grain of rice. Therefore, English cannot be said to have a singulative number. In other languages, singulatives can be regularly formed from collective nouns, e.g. Standard Arabic junior hajar, stone, jert hajara, individual, stone, beaker bikar, cattle, beaker bikara, single, cow. In Russian, the suffix for forming singulative form is in in, e.g. grad grad, hail, gradina gradina, hailstone, lead lyad, ice, dina ladina, 
block of ice. In both Russian and Arabic, the singulative form always takes on the feminine gender. In Dutch, singulative forms of collective nouns are occasionally made by diminutives, snope, sweets, candy, snoepie, sweet, piece of candy. These singulatives can be pluralized like most other nouns, snoepjes, several sweets, pieces of candy. Topic. Dual The distinction between a «singular» number one and a «plural» number more than one found in English is not the only possible classification. Another one is «singular» one, «dual» two and «plural» more than two. Dual number existed in Proto-Indo-European, persisted in many ancient Indo-European languages that descended from it, Sanskrit, Ancient Greek, Gothic, Old Norse, and Old English for example, and can still be found in a few modern Indo-European languages such as Slovene. Many more modern Indo-European languages show residual traces of the dual, as in the English distinctions both versus all, either versus any, neither versus none, and so on. Note, however, that Norwegian bade, for example, though cognate with English both, can be used with more than two things, as in ex sparer bade tid, punger, og arbiad, literally. X saves both time, money, and labor. Many Semitic languages also have dual number. For instance, in Arabic all nouns can have singular, plural, or dual forms. For non-broken plurals, masculine plural nouns end with own un and feminine plural nouns end with at at, whilst an an is added to the end of a noun to indicate that it is dual even among nouns that have broken plurals. Pronouns in Polynesian languages such as Tahitian exhibit the singular, dual, and plural numbers. The dual may be restricted to certain morphological categories. For example, in North Sami, in possessive forms the possessor has three numbers singular, dual, plural whereas the noun possessed only has two singular, plural. <laughs> Topic. Trial The trial number is a grammatical number referring to three items, in contrast to singular one item, dual two items, and plural four or more items. Several Austronesian languages such as Tolomako, Lihir, and Manam, the Kiwayan languages, and the Austronesian-influenced Creole languages Bislama and Tok Pisin have the trial number in their pronouns. No language has been documented to have trial number in its nouns. Quadril. The quadral number, if it existed, would denote four items together, as trial does three. No known natural language has it, nor is there any proof that any natural language ever did. It was once thought to exist in the pronoun systems of Mershalese, spoken in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean, and in Sursurunga, in Tanga, and in several other Austronesian languages. While not all of these languages are adequately attested, it turns out that Sursurunga instead has both a lesser pakal, labeled trial, but in fact referring to small groups, with typically three or four members and a greater pockel, misnamed the quadril, as it has a minimum of four, e.g. a pair of dyadic kin terms. The distinction is along the lines of a few versus several, and that what Mershalese actually has is a trial and a pockel. None of them has a quadril. In at least two cases the field workers who originally suggested they did have a Quadril, were also the first to publish a peer-reviewed article contradicting that suggestion. Topic. Pockel Pockel number, for a few as opposed to many instances of the referent e.g. in Hopi, Warlpuri, some Oceanic languages including Fijian, Motuna, Serbo-Croatian, and in Arabic for some nouns. Pakal number has also been documented in some Cushitic languages of Ethiopia, including Beso, which marks singular, pakal, plural. When pakal number is used in Arabic, it generally refers to ten or fewer instances. Of the Indo-European languages, Northern Kurdish or Kermanji is one of the few known languages with pakal number. For instance, kar inen, sometimes, cf. gelik kar in, many times. In Russian, the genitive singular is also applied to three or four items two, three, four kamna stones, gen. sg, but five point two zero kamnej stones, gen. 
Place, making it effectively Pakal cf. Atat Kaman this stone, nam. Sg, eti kamni these stones, nam. Place. Polish functions similarly, one dog is jeden pies, while two, three, four sai, dogs, place, but five plus sau, dogs, gen. Place. Topic. Distributive plural Distributive plural number, for many instances viewed as independent individuals for example, in Navajo. Topic. Formal expression of number Synthetic languages typically distinguish grammatical number by inflection. Analytic languages, such as Chinese, often do not mark grammatical number. Some languages have no marker for the plural in certain cases, e.g. Swedish hus, house, houses, but huset, the house, husen, the houses. In most languages, the singular is formally unmarked, whereas the plural is marked in some way. Other languages, most notably the Bantu languages, mark both the singular and the plural, for instance Swahili see example below. The third logical possibility, found in only a few languages such as Welsh and Sinhala, is an unmarked plural contrasting with marked singular. Below are some examples of number affixes for nouns where the inflecting morphemes are underlined. Affixation by adding or removing prefixes, suffixes, infixes, or circumfixes. Estonian, puu, tree, wood, singular puid, the trees, woods, nominative plural, or kom puid, three trees. Partitive singular Finnish, lima, cow, the cow, singular, limit, the cows, nominative plural Turkish, dag, the mountain, singular, dagler, mountains, plural Slovene, lipa, linden, singular, lippi, linden, dual, lipe, linden, plural Sanskrit, purusas, purusas, man, singular, purusau, purusau, two men. Dual purusas purusas men plural Sinhala Malik flower singular mal flowers plural Swahili m toto child singular watoto children plural Ganda omusaja man singular abasaja men plural Georgian katsi kachi man singular katsebi kajebi men where I is the nominative case marker. Welsh plant, children, collective plenton, child, singulative, simulfix through various kinds of internal sound alternations. Arabic kitab kitab, book, singular kudab kudab, books, plural. Apophony alternating between different vowels. Dinka cat, frame, Kate frames. English foot feet. German, mutter, mother, mutter, mothers. Welsh, batchgen, boy, batchgen, boys. See affection. Reduplication through doubling. Indonesian, orang, person. Singular, orang, orang, people. Plural, but dua orang, two people. And banyak orang, many people. Reduplication is not done when the context is clear and when the plurality is not emphasized. Pipple, kumit, pot, singular, kuj, kumit, pots, plural, similar to Indonesian, reduplication is omitted when plurality is marked elsewhere or not emphasized. Somali, boog, book, singular, boog ag, books, plural, suppletion, the use of the one word as the inflected form of another word. Serbo Croatian, kov, j, ek, man, singular, l, judy, men, folks. Plural Tonality by changing a drag tone to a push tone Limburgish, dog, day, singular, dog, days, plural Ancient Greek, glossa, glossa, tongue, singular, glossa, glossa, two tongues. Dual elements marking number may appear on nouns and pronouns in dependent marking languages or on verbs and adjectives in head marking languages. In the English sentence above, the plural suffix s is added to the noun cowboy. In the equivalent in Western Apache, a head marking language, a plural infix da is added to the verb yilchigoa, he is teaching him, resulting in yilchidegoa, he is teaching them, 
while noun idolohi cowboy is unmarked for number topic <laughs> number particles plurality is sometimes marked by a specialized number particle or number word this is frequent in australian and austronesian languages an example from tagalog is the word mga ma compare bahai house with mga bahai houses in Kapampangan, certain nouns optionally denote plurality by secondary stress, ing lalaki, man, and ing babai, woman, become ding lalaki, men, and ding babai, women. Topic. Classifiers with number morphology In Sanskrit and some other languages, number and case are fused category and there is concord for number between a noun and its predicator. Some languages however for example, Assamese lack this feature. Languages that show number inflection for a large enough corpus of nouns or allow them to combine directly with singular and plural numerals can be described as non-classifier languages. On the other hand, there are languages that obligatorily require a counter word or the so-called classifier for all nouns. For example, the category of number in Assamese is fused with the category of classifier, which always carries a definite, indefinite reading. The singularity or plurality of the noun is determined by the addition of the classifier suffix either to the noun or to the numeral. Number system in Assamese is either realized as numeral or as nominal inflection, but not both. Numerals ek one and dui two can be realized as both free morpheme and clitics. When used with classifiers, these two numerals are cliticized to the classifiers. Pingalapis is a Micronesian language spoken on the Pingalap Atoll and on two of the eastern Caroline Islands, called the High Island of Pohnpei. In Pingalapis, the meaning, use, or shape of an object can be expressed through the use of numerical classifiers. These classifiers combine a noun and a number that together can give more details about the object. There are at least five sets of numerical classifiers in Pingalapis. Each classifier has a numeral part and a classifier part that corresponds to the noun it is describing. The classifier follows the noun in a phrase. There is a separate set of numerical classifiers that is used when the object is not specified. Examples of this is the names of the days of the week. Topic. Obligatoriness of number marking In many languages, such as English, number is obligatorily expressed in every grammatical context. Some limit number expression to certain classes of nouns, such as animates or referentially prominent nouns as with proximate forms in most Algonquian languages, opposed to referentially less prominent obviative forms. In others, such as Chinese and Japanese, number marking is not consistently applied to most nouns unless a distinction is needed or already present. A very common situation is for plural number to not be marked if there is any other overt indication of number, as for example in Hungarian, vorig, flower, viragok, flowers, hat vorig, six flowers. Topic: Transnumeral. Many languages, such as Chinese, Indonesian, Japanese, and Malay, have optional number marking. In such cases, an unmarked noun is neither singular nor plural, but rather ambiguous as to number. This is called transnumeral or sometimes general number, abbreviated TRN. Many such languages have optional number marking, which tends to be used for definite and highly animate reference, most notably first-person pronouns. Topic. Inverse number The languages of the Tanoan family have three numbers, singular, dual, and plural, and exhibit an unusual system of marking number, called inverse number or number toggling. In this scheme, every countable noun has what might be called its inherent or expected numbers, and is unmarked for these. When a noun appears in an inverse, atypical number, it is inflected to mark this. For example, in Hames, where nouns take the ending shish to denote an inverse number, there are four noun classes which inflect for number as follows. As can be seen, class 1 nouns are inherently singular, class 2 nouns are inherently plural, class 3 nouns are inherently singular or plural. 
Class IV nouns cannot be counted and are never marked with shish. Asterisk a similar system is seen in Kiowa. Kiowa is distantly related to Tanoan languages like Haymes. See also Taos language, number inflection for a description of inverse number suffixes in another Tanoan language. Topic. Number agreement Topic. Verbs In many languages, verbs are conjugated according to number. Using French as an example, one says je voice I see, but nous voyons we see. The verb voir to see changes from voice in the first person singular to voyons in the plural. In everyday English, this often happens in the third person she sees, they see, but not in other grammatical persons, except with the verb to be. Topic. Adjectives and determiners Adjectives often agree with the number of the noun they modify. For example, in French, one says un grand arbre tiab, a tall tree, but der grand arbre du zab, two tall trees. The singular adjective grand becomes grand in the plural, unlike English, tall, which remains unchanged. Other determiners may agree with number. In English, the demonstratives, this, that, change to, these, those, in the plural, and the indefinite article, a, an, is either omitted or changes to, some. In French and German, the definite articles have gender distinctions in the singular but not the plural. In Italian, Spanish and Portuguese, both definite and indefinite articles are inflected for gender and number, e.g. Portuguese o, a, the, singular, mask, fem, os, as, the, plural, mask, fem, um, uma, a, n, singular, mask, fem, uns, umas, some, plural, mask, fem, dua, duas. Two, plural, mask, fem. In the Finnish sentence yot ovit pimeta, nights are dark, each word referring to the plural noun yot, nights, night, equals yo, is pluralized night place is place dark place partitive. Topic. Exceptions Sometimes, grammatical number will not represent the actual quantity. For example, in ancient Greek neuter plurals took a singular verb. The plural form of a pronoun may also be applied to a single individual as a sign of importance, respect or generality, as in the pluralis majestatis, the TV distinction, and the generic you, found in many languages, or, in English, when using the singular they, for gender neutrality. In Arabic, the plural of a non-human noun one that refers to an animal or to an inanimate entity regardless of whether the noun is grammatically masculine or feminine in the singular is treated as feminine singular. This is called the inanimate plural. For example, Arjil Jamil Rajal Jamil beautiful, handsome man, Rajal man is masculine singular, so it takes the masculine singular adjective Jamil. Bit Jamil Bait Jamil beautiful house, bait house is masculine singular, so it takes the masculine singular Jamil. KLB Jamil Kalb Jamil beautiful dog, Kalb dog is masculine singular, so it takes the masculine singular Jamil. Bint Jamil Bint Jamila beautiful girl, Bint is feminine singular, so it takes the feminine singular Jamila. Sayart Jamil Sayara Jamila beautiful car, Sayara is feminine singular, so it takes the feminine singular Jamila. Rial Jamilon Rigil Jamilun beautiful, handsome men, Rigil men is masculine plural, so it takes the masculine plural Jamilun. Binat Jamilat Banat Jamilat beautiful girls, Banat is feminine plural, so it takes the feminine plural Jamilat. Dot but Bywit Jamilt Bayut Jamila beautiful houses, Bayut houses is non-human plural, and so takes the inanimate plural feminine singular Jamila. Sharat Jamilt Sayarat Jamila beautiful cars, Sayarat is non-human plural, and so takes the inanimate plural Jamila. Klab Jamilt Kilab Jamila beautiful dogs, Kilab is non-human plural, and so takes the inanimate plural Jamila. Topic. Collective nouns A collective noun is a word that designates a group of objects or beings regarded as a whole, such as flock team or corporation although many languages treat collective nouns as singular in others they may be interpreted as plural 
In British English, phrases such as the committee are meeting are common the so-called agreement in sensu, in meaning, with the meaning of a noun, rather than with its form, see constructio ad sensum. The use of this type of construction varies with dialect and level of formality. In some cases, the number marking on a verb with a collective subject may express the degree of collectivity of action. The committee are discussing the matter the individual members are discussing the matter, but the committee has decided on the matter the committee has acted as an indivisible body. The crowd is tearing down the fences a crowd is doing something as a unit, but the crowd are cheering wildly many individual members of the crowd are doing the same thing independently of each other. Topic. Semantic versus grammatical number All languages are able to specify the quantity of reference. They may do so by lexical means with words such as English a few, some, one, two, five hundred. However, not every language has a grammatical category of number. Grammatical number is expressed by morphological or syntactic means. That is, it is indicated by certain grammatical elements, such as through affixes or number words. Grammatical number may be thought of as the indication of semantic number through grammar. Languages that express quantity only by lexical means lack a grammatical category of number. For instance, in Khmer, neither nouns nor verbs carry any grammatical information concerning number, such information can only be conveyed by lexical items such as kla some, pibe a few, and so on. Topic. Auxiliary languages Auxiliary languages often have fairly simple systems of grammatical number. In one of the most common schemes found, for example, in Interlingua and Edo, nouns and pronouns distinguish between singular and plural, but not other numbers, and adjectives and verbs do not display any number agreement. In Esperanto, however, adjectives must agree in both number and case with the nouns that they qualify. Topic. See also Count noun Alohim Generic antecedent Grammatical agreement Grammatical conjugation Grammatical person Inflection Measure word Names of numbers in English Noun class Plural tantum Romance plurals Topic. Notes Topic. Bibliography Topic. External links http colon slash slash uk slash features slash morphosyntactic slash number slash doi ten point one five one two six smg eighteen over one oh two